Pepper. Yes. Kirkland seasoned rotisserie chicken. This is dollar for dollar, pound for pound, the best value rotisserie chicken you're gonna find anywhere, anywhere. It is $5.99. Yeah, it's $5.99. And it'll feed two people for two days. Like, without a doubt. Always perfectly cooked, great value. Today I'm not actually having this as like a, a meal. It's going inside a chicken soup, which I'm not making in this video either. I'm just literally taking apart this chicken right now. But uh, another video I'll do the soup probably. But yeah, no, look at the size of this thing. That, $5.99. This, this has gotta be at least, I don't know, four or five pounds. Shit's heavy. Meaty, juicy, just delicious. If you have a Costco near you, and you've never had a rotisserie chicken at a Costco, you're doing yourself a huge disservice. So anyway, I'm just gonna share with you my tips and tricks for taking apart a rotisserie chicken. And what drives me nuts most of the times when people have this and they just like pick at it, I'm like, no, you have to take it apart. Remove everything and then eat it so you don't have a, it's just neater and just presents nicer. Although for the soup, I will probably be shredding the dark meat, but the white meat, I'm gonna, breast meat anyway, I'm gonna be chunking up, I would think. I don't know, wanna, we'll see how it happens. But, yeah, no, so, let's take the whole bird. By the way, this is going to be greasy, slippery, like, my knife's gonna be slipping out of my hand. It's crazy. What you do first, I like to cut away between the drumsticks here, and the breast. We're basically gonna separate the thighs, the dark meat and the white meat. Separate there. And then you basically just pick the whole chicken up and just bend until you hear a snap, right? I didn't even make the sound. But anyway, we just broke its back. Uh, here you have your thighs and drumsticks, all your dark meat, and which we'll start with. And then here we have the breast and the little winglet thingies. So, yeah. Put that here, that can rest. We're gonna start with this. What I like to do is, uh, if I wasn't shredding this, I would basically, actually, this is gonna literally fall apart. I'm gonna take the skin off because I'm not gonna need it for soup. Mm. Oh yes, I'm getting, getting naked now. I'm a naked chicken. You can totally eat this skin, by the way. It's really, really delicious. All right, peel away, peel away your skin and this little fat. All right, so we're left with just chicken. To be honest, you really don't need a knife at this point or for, the, for any of this, because you can just take it apart. But if, if I did want to do this neatly, neatly, I would find the bone here where the thigh meets it. Well, anyway. Back here, like a little oyster, really succulent piece of chicken. Right in there. Mm. Alright, remove, remove, and. Alright, there's a whole thigh and drumstick. Same thing here, just put your finger along the bone and just feel for it. Stick your thumb in there, there it is. And just wiggle it around until you feel the joint right there, and just pop it out. And there. Oh, here's the little oyster. Sorry, that's the little oyster. That little, this little pocket right here. That is some super tender chicken right there. All right. So we'll have our dark meat bowl and our white meat bowl over there. Uh, on this, looks like there's not much meat on it. You can just kind of pick at it as you want. It's mostly like skinnish fat. Yeah, no. That's just bones back here. There we go. Okay. Let's get to the meat of the matter, huh? So now we have two. Thighs and drumsticks. What I would normally do is just sort of feel around here and split it at the, you can cut with this. Cut till you reach the joint feel for it then you just pop it then you continue cutting through 
drumstick, thigh. And for the thigh, you just slice along the bone until you reach the bone and pull the bone out. But again, this is so cooked so tender and juicy and perfect, you can just, it, the meat just slides off with your hand. Oh, God. So good. I can't recommend this enough. It's the best rotisserie chicken you're going to get for this price and taste. There. There we go. Just slide off the little gook. There we go. We got nice dark meat chicken. There's a boneless thigh right here. On the end, we got some tendon stuff. We'll just sort of pull that out. The dark meat shreds very easily. There we go. Great. Cool. And cool. And then the drumstick just pull your meat off. There it is. Perfect. You can get a pretty good amount of chicken out of one of these. It's great for adding into... Oh yeah, watch out for your tendons here in the drumstick. good. This one will just snap. Snap and go. We'll need the knife more for the breast. Removing that from the bone. Good, good, good. Watch your tendon. So if you were doing, if this was a raw piece of chicken, like we are taking apart a chicken raw to cook it, this would not slide apart like this. You have to use your knife to do it. All right, what do we got here? Good, good. Done. And now the thigh. This will be so good in your soup, or that I said, whatever. Don't want to repeat myself. Repeat myself. There we go. Just, again, feel it for any sort of cartilage or whatever. Just really got to get your hands in there. Only way to do it right. I prefer gloves, because it is super greasy. M would probably just use her face to do this. I don't know. And Z, he'd probably use his feet. All right. Nice, nice. Nice. So there's our dark meat. Right there, all done. Onto the... breast. Now to take the breast off whole, all right, there's a couple of ways of doing this, but uh, I like to actually go from the bottom here and just sort of rip out the back bone. Uh, there we go. Separate it, we can get to the rib cage here. Let's take off the skin also, because it just makes it easier to see and less slippery. If you were serving this as a breast, like a, you can leave the skin on, but we are not. So let's clean them off. Nice pair on this one, right? Eh. There we go. I'll be careful not to get too much meat here. We're taking this apart. Okay. On the inside here, we'll take out this, basically the rib cage. Yeah. The knife, yeah. So you can just literally get your finger in there and just slide this, slide that out. Use your knife to take out this bit of like fattiness. 
cool. Careful, don't cut yourself. It's so slippery, I can't stress it enough. I've slipped in the past, it sucks. Alright. Over here we have our wishbone. We gotta get back in there and sort of get it out. Should be right under here somewhere. In the meat. Gotta kinda dig at it. There we go. There's one end. By removing it, it makes it easier to cut the breast out. There it is. Wishbone. Make a wish. It's a wishbone because two people, you grab it, two people grab it and you pull it apart and eh, this person wins. I win! Yay! This is actually meat. No, don't throw meat away. This is white meat. Go in there. Alright, we're going to pop the wings off. Now is where you gotta be careful, you don't wanna rip the breast up, unless you were shredding the breast. I don't wanna shred it, I wanna chunk it up. So, there we go. There we go. I'm gonna lift with our two breasts right here. Pretty much just the bone on the back holding them together. We'll get to this at the end. Let's just take up take apart the oh no ripped out a nice chunk of meat here all right that's okay Put that there so your little winglets here there's some actually some decent meat on this let's pull take this 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 is all skin gone actually there's not much you know, we can this is what you get when you have chicken wings That's a bone. That is meat. Bone. Straight up meat. Same on this side. The wing tip doesn't have any meat on it, really. Pull your bone out. Here, separate the joint. There we go. This is the tedious part, just picking out the little bits of meat. But you don't want to waste it because it's a waste. <laughs> it's all good stuff.
learn a lot about chicken anatomy by taking it apart whole. like we've picked this as clean as I'm willing to or as crazily as I'm willing to go with it oh I don't want you there we go excellent okay on to the main course the breast so what we're left with is this little piece of bone actually which we can remove I'm going to remove on this side. There we go. So, there we go. By doing it this way, you preserve more of the meat, like whole. You don't leave any of it on the bone by running your finger along it and just kind of ripping the bone out. And now, from the now that the whole bottom underside is done, we can take the top peel along the top oh. there just come along one side don't cut yourself and just run your knife till it gives way right there and there you have it there is your whole breast then we do the same on the other side Carefully run your knife. Well, start with your finger. There it is. If you do the breast first, it's really hard to get under it like this to get off this bone. End up with meat stuck on it. I like pulling everything else apart first and end up with the two whole breasts right there. And yeah, that's it. This will shred actually because it is so moist. If you look here. Have you ever seen like chicken tenders? That's the inside, the tender part of the breast. It separates completely right here. There it is. Here's your chicken tender. If you ever wonder where it came from, it's the inner part of the breast, which I'm now tearing this apart. But there, that's where your chicken tender is. That is good meat. I am going to probably just shred this. Actually, you know what? All that wing meat is actually dark, not white. I'm going to put that here with the dark meat. I made a mistake. This is white. You can tell the difference by looking at it. All right. So yeah, as you can see, it just comes apart. Got a little vein in there. It's all cooked. You don't got to worry. But if you get skeeved out by that, you can just pick it out. Yeah. A little tendon vein running. No biggie. Yummy. And there you have it. Shred it up. Just take it and go to town. I guess you could use a fork for this too, but seeing as how my hands are dirty already, well, my gloves are dirty already. Use my hands. Uh, pull the breast apart. Oh. This is great in chicken salad also, obviously. So if you wanted to cut it up, you can just literally just dice it into cubes to serve it. I usually put it out like that. Pour a little juice on top, whatever you want to do. Oh, damn it. That is a wasted chicken tip breast. Well. See how much meat we I should have weighed the chicken and then weighed what we ended up with. Oh well, next time we'll figure it out. Here's all the whole breast. Oh, it just it just literally comes apart. But there you have it, that's how you do it. You can end up with more white meat than dark meat, because as I said, the breasts are the main weight of the chicken, but the dark meat is definitely my favorite part. 
well, this is super succulent and tender as well, because it's rotisserie, but given the option, I'd eat that bowl first. That's all right, here we go. Like, honestly, you really didn't even need the knife. Like, you could have done this totally by hand. But, uh, I find it just easier with having the knife handy. So, there it is. I'll just clean my cutting board and knife, and that's it. But, it doesn't take much. Oh, you poor piece of chicken. Ah, so, check out Z Cook Consortium. Check out our YouTube and our Patreon. I'm gonna put this into soup. We'll see if that uh, gets a video or not. I don't know. But uh, until next time, links, subscribe, like, do everything cool on YouTube and whatnot. And uh, we'll be making something else good pretty soon. Take it easy.